when the Lord was to arrive, we were going to be able to discover the intentions of our hearts. Is that so? Right? That when he was to arrive, you were going to be able to do that. You were going to be able to discover who you are. And to discover who you are, let's go to Romans chapter 7, in verse 18, so forth. And I know, are we all there? I know that nothing good lives in me. That is in my flesh, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do. Instead, I keep on doing the evil I don't want to do. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it. Say, it is no longer I who do it, but the sin that dwells within me. What a way not to blame yourself, right? In other words, I go and I slap you and I'll say, oh, it wasn't me. It was the sin that dwells in me. <laughs> Someone may think that way, right? But naturally for that, you have to know good and evil so you don't slap someone. Because if you slap someone, you may be slapped. Because what you sow, it's what you reap. There are two principles here. But the apostle is speaking correctly here. He says, listen, it isn't I who does that, but sin that dwells in me, the devil that ruined my flesh. Truly, it isn't I because who created evil was God. God created good and evil. He created a creation called Lucifer, Satan. He created him that he would impart upon you evil. Hello. It is to say the plan of God is that sin be imparted to you. So he created the devil and the devil tempted Eve, whom represents the mother of this creation. That's why Paul says, listen, truly it is an I that does that, but the law that was imparted, that was given to me so that that would be manifest in me. Would there be another way of thinking? Naturally, you were given the knowledge of obedience, to be obedient in all things. And you were given to learn good and evil, so you know what evil is. So while grace did not come, a covenant of law was given to govern society so that society stays in order and doesn't continue in evil. A law was given with threats. Whomever did it will pay an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, until Jesus Christ appeared and took away that law and brought the other law, which is grace the law of the spirit of life that enables you not by commandments, but out of duty. For an example, you don't have to obligate me for me to treat you right because the law of the spirit of life that's within me tells me that to treat you right is better than treating you bad. 